Messi. Skips past one. Oh, skips past two. Messi. Messi! What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. And today we're taking a look at Leo Messi, the special edition that you can buy of Messi. So this player is 20 quid, 20 euro, or about 16 pounds, I think. Um, look, he's a phenomenal player. He was the first of the boosters. And even though I don't score this free kick, it's just, it's messy, man. It's one of the best cards that they have released. Now, I've seen a bit of confusion, and a lot of people are still asking me how to actually get this messy. Is it released yet? Yes. This card, you have to buy on the PSN store. You cannot buy it on console. As of this time of recording, you have to do it this method. So you need to go in and search for eFootball on the PSN store search for the product, view the product, and then find the Leo Messi edition by hitting the three little icon buttons there, and then that will bring you in to be able to pay for it. This is what you get. You get 300 coins, you get 44,000 trainers, and you get 10 players plus Messi. So you get 10 other players, and then you get Leo Messi, the special edition, as you see there with his card, okay? He starts off at an 86 overall, and he goes to 103 with the boost when you uh, max out his rating, okay? The biggest question I'm going to get asked is, is it worth it? You know, is it kind of worth it to get this player? I genuinely can't really answer that question for you, lads, right? This is his stats. He's the first of the boosters. Now, they have released Roberto Carlos, Can, and Nesta, and the three Japanese boys, Nakamura and Nakata, as well. Um, and, you know, it's a phenomenal card because it means that you have about four or five more levels that you can train in different ways rather than put him into something like the stats that he has the booster for, right? So if we actually take a look at this version of him here, which is a 98 overall, um, this is one version that I like to use of him with the booster on. He only goes to 99, and then he'll get the boost with that to 101 when he goes into the game screen. You also get Pedri, who I think is a fantastic player to build your, your squad around. Hakimi is on A rating this week as well is a phenomenal right back or right wing back if you're playing him for crossing balls in. A couple of other players there as well, Vitinha, and of course, Luis Suarez, if you want that messy Neymar Suarez return. So I do think that it is a fairly, it's a fairly decent, you know, pack to buy, but it is 20 quid, right? It is 20 quid. And I can't put a valuation on how much um, that is worth to you, but that is the boost when you toggle on and toggle off the actual booster. So the booster, as we will see, gives a stat increase to his dribbling stats, his ball control, and his tight possession, plus low pass. So it means that you go over 100 with some of them stats, as you can see there. Now, the reason for this is because I eventually think they're going to add the boosters into the, into the point where you can have booster cards to any card. Now, until they add this, I don't think that it's going to be a huge deal with these cards because once you have the likes of Messi in here, he does go to 103 when you max out his card. Um, and you get the, play, the team play style proficiency as well. So as you can see there, these are his max ratings. This is what he's going to be playing at when you actually play a match in the game screen or in the match screen. Um, 103 rated Messi. He's one of the best dribblers in the game. I see a lot of people talking about, you know, whether he's worth getting. I, I, I keep repeating, if you are looking for the best of the best players, I think this version of Messi is phenomenal. Now, that's not to say that if you have other versions of Messi, it's very, very, very balanced that you probably don't need to get this Messi pack. I do think that Pedri is fantastic. If you are a newcomer and you download the game for free and you're thinking, listen, I'll pop in 20 quid and I'll have a start in 11 with a couple of coins to spin and trainers to be able to max them out very easily. Obviously, you'll be able to max out maybe one or two players um, with, a bit of, with a few games and a few boosts. You are going to get one of the best cards in the game, as you see here with the booster on when it's activated. Now, a bit of the warden is with this, that this activation is always present. It's always activated. Let's see if they do bring in expiring ones as well, kind of like contracts. We'll talk about that in a future video. But you know what you're getting with Messi. I still think he's the best attacking midfielder in the game if you don't shoot a lot. And he's one of the best SSs or right wingers cutting in to score with that left foot of his if you do shoot a lot. And that depends on how you will build him as well. So you're going to get a couple of clips here depending on how you train him, right? With his actual style and with his ability. You've got tricks, you've got double touch, you've got break play. Um, you're able to start counters. His dribbling is unbelievable. His finishing from tight angles is unbelievable. He is the full package, right? Now, as I mentioned, that's not to say that if you have other versions of Messi, that he cannot do a similar job for you. Now, we're going to take a look at two versions of Messi here, or maybe three. We've got the first one, which is a free version of Messi that the, everybody got. And this was a celebration one when he went to Inter Miami. And this card is phenomenal. Now, he doesn't have the booster, obviously, so that does degrade it a little bit. But the rest of his stats are really good. We also have the big time. Now, this was a big time that they released way back when. 101 overall. Some stats are better 
on this 101 version of Messi than the actual card that is available for 20 quid on the PSN store. And then last but not least, we have the player of the week, Messi. The one difference between this Messi is the fact that he's got a different uh, player play style. So he's down as a different play style than creative playmaker, as you see there, right? Again, extremely solid in front of goal, more of a scorer than an actual, you know, kind of a creator, right? But you can't go wrong with Messi. Uh, look, if you want to go for him, I definitely think you're going to see enough in this video to show you what he's about. Left foot, right foot, doesn't matter. This is my ultimate training that I did of him that I was testing out. I think it's the sweet spot. You're not maxing out his auto allocation. You're not too worried about the overall rating on the card. I know some people will want Messi to be 103 and they'll be saying, oh, that's the best version of him. But I found this version of him to be unbelievable. His movement was perfectly at the balance. I played about 20 hours of streaming. I streamed the game for 20 hours, testing out different builds of Messi. I'm kind of doing that a lot now where I'm testing out all these players in multiple ways. Because we can reset the players until the 28th of uh, September, as you see here, we can literally just reset the cards whenever we want and be able to kind of boost them and train them up exactly how we want. That is effective until the 28th of September. But yeah, fantastic card, a fantastic pack. If it's worth 20 quid to you, you can't go wrong with this card. You genuinely can't. And you're guaranteed to get the Messi. You can spend, you know, 50 quid trying to get Roberto Carlos or Nesta or Can or one of the boosters, you might not get him. With Messi, it's a guarantee. So let me know if you actually picked him up. Let me know if you think it's a waste of money. Let me know if you think that it's an unbelievable um, attempt at getting one of the best players in the game. And let me know if you've got any really cool goals with Messi that you would want me to make a compilation out of. So until next time, lads, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will talk to you in a bit. Peace.